Hello everyone, welcome back again. In today's video, we're gonna learn how we can create customized radio button. Here is an example. Now let's build it. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for to get notification for more upcoming videos. Now in our Android Studio, first let's delete this text view and I'm gonna use linear layout. You can use any layout you want. Set it orientation to vertical and gravity to center. Now in here, first we will create a radio group. Set it orientation to horizontal. Inside this radio group, we'll create radio buttons. So we'll create radio button with a height and width wrap content. And we'll set the text left. I'll give padding 16 dp. And also give margin 16 dp. Now we need two more radio buttons. For that I will copy and paste this two times. Change their text to center. And write. You can give whatever text you want. Now if we run our app, we'll see radio button like this. But now we have to customize it. So go here, right click on the drawable folder. New drawable resource file. We will give the name radio normal. Leave the S as it is and click OK. First, we will change the selector tag to shape tag and give the attribute shape to rectangle. And inside the shape tag, we will create a solid tag with the color white and give the corner radius to 8 dp. Now, we need to create an another drawable file. We will give the name radio selected. And in here the code will be the same but the color will be different. So again selected to tag, shape rectangle, create solid tag. But in here color will be the different color. And with the corner radius 8 dp. Now we need to create an another drawable resource file. Give the name radio selector. And in here we will create an item tag. Give an attribute and dot sec checked to true. And then we will set the drawable to and dot selected drawable that we have created previously. Now we will create an another item tag. We will set check value to false and the drawable that we will provide is radio normal drawable. Now we need also an drawable resource file for our text. We will give the name text color. Now we will do something different. If the item set checked value to true, we will set the color to white. And we will create another item with the set checked value to false. And the color we will provide is red. Now let's go back to activity main.xml 
and first we'll give a attribute android button to color transparent and set the background to selector background and we will set the text color to android drawable text color that we have created previously now we will give little bit of elevation of 4 db to add a shadow background now we will copy this four lines of code and paste it for the other two radio buttons and now let's test our application to see how it's work you can see the, our custom radio button is working thank you guys for watching this video and if it is helpful please leave a like take care